this is an eight megahertz probe, okay? So we sell those because uh, the eight uh, megahertz probe has a shallower focus, okay? A shallower focus. If we're looking for veins, they're more um, superficial. We don't want to have a five megahertz that goes a little bit deeper, and now we're picking up other sounds, okay? So we have an eight mega, um, megahertz probe. It simply just plugs in at the bottom. Make sure on this model or in, on anything else you use that it's really in, and I know that sounds funny. Make sure it's plugged in for it to work. But there's a click. If you have it out like this, it feels like it's in, but it's not. You gotta really push it in, okay? Power button, volume, and headphone jack, okay? Um, when I'm taking Doppler, um, you can hear that right now, right? Um, you can make a rap song too when you're done. Um, when I'm using Doppler, I'm not so worried about having supported leg, supported arm, etc. I do want them to be comfortable though. I don't want them to be clenching. I don't want them to be causing something that could change the Doppler. It really likely won't. But you know, something like this is perfectly fine. Um, ultrasound gel, you don't need a lot. Don't. Oh, I should keep that closed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, just a little. I mean, I, just a little. And then um, it is as simple as don't put too much pressure. I don't always like to go directly vertical, perpendicular, because if you do, you tend to occlude it a little bit more. I like to do a little bit of an angle. You don't drink coffee, do you? No. <laughs> you a runner? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> if you're a runner, you are... Runners are adamant about being runners. So no. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy running, but you are not a runner. Right. That's the same with me. Okay? I mean, really easy. What I also like to listen to briefly in the beginning for a baseline is whether or not the pulse is regular. If you looked at an EKG, though, you guys remember P wave, QRS, R wave to R wave, the peak to peak, you're going to have some variability that's actually a good predictor of cardiovascular health. So it's not going to always be like exact, but you don't want it to be, well, there it is. You know, it came back. <laughs> that's not good. 